Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem, and then press play, and we can solve it together. All right, they want to know which value to the nearest tenth is not a solution of p of x equals q of x. If p of x is this cubic function, right, the third power makes it a cubic function, and q of x is this linear function here with a slope of 3 and an intercept of 8. And we have all these different choices here. So what they're implying, I don't... I, I don't often say this, but I don't like this question. It says, is not a solution of p of x equals q of x. What are they talking about? Um, well, I'm going to infer that they're talking about the x values. And I wish they would just say it, because it's a little ambiguous the way they're saying it. All right, p of x and q of x are outputs of a function, and they're equal here. So when the heights are equal, they want to know what x values s make this so. Right. In other words, what can I plug into p of x and q of x to get equal outputs, right? And they want to know which of these are not a solution, right? An x value. So most likely uh, all of these choices will be x values and one of them will instead be a y value, which is when the it is it is an output. It is the value that they both equal when you plug in x values. All right. So let me let me show what I mean. So let's go to our calculator here. If I press y equals, I've got my equation entered already, save a little bit of time. And then before I even press the graph button, I press zoom 6 to give a standard kind of zoom and sense of where the function is. All right, there's my cubic, there's my linear. Oops, I'm missing a, a spot over there. So I usually press the window button to adjust that. I'm going to lower my y min a little bit so it doesn't get cut off. You don't have to lower it, but it just, I think it helps. And let's go to 25. So I just kind of zoomed out on the y-axis a little bit. That might help us out. There we go. We have a good approximation now. I press second, trace, and I go to choice five for intersect. And I'm just going to go through my intersection points, and then we'll look at them together. So let's scroll to this first one over here. I'm hovering on my first function. They call it a curve. And then I just I press enter, and it hops to my line. And I'm going to guess. It's already a, a good guess, a good approximation of where they intersect. And I get negative 3.9 to the nearest tenth and negative 3.8. So the first point where they meet is negative 3.9 comma negative 3.8. All right, and let's go back. Do it again. Second trace intersect choice five. I just press the number five. Scroll to the next intersection point. Pretty close. Enter, enter, and then I'm going to get closer to it. Hit guess by entering a third time, negative 1.14.7. Negative 1.14.7. Okay, finally, second trace, intersect, go over. Okay, I'm pretty close to my third intersection point, enter, enter, and I'm already pretty much on it, so we enter a third time. I get 2.114.2, so 2.1. 14.2. So if we look at this, right, we have our x values here, 2.1, negative 1.1, negative 3.9. Those are the solutions. When I plug in 2.1 to about 2.1 to p of x or q of x, I get the same output. I get 14.2. If I plug in negative 1.1 to both of them, I, get, I both get about 4.7. And negative 3.9 into both as an input gets about negative 3.8. So these are all, in fact, this is 1x, 2x, and 3x's that work as a solution for this system. And I'm going to cross these off then, negative 3.9, negative 1.1, and 2.1. Now what's left here is 4.7. And just to clarify, that's the answer here. Right? These are the outputs for those given inputs. Right? In other words, when you plug those x values in, these are the corresponding outputs you get for both functions. So they're not really asking you that here. And I don't like this question because it's not immediately obvious. Are they asking me for outputs or inputs, right? Outputs are y values, inputs are x values. But if you are given this phrase, a solution of when p of x equals q of x, they're asking you about the x values that make these uh, make this equation balanced, not the y values, not the result of that balance. All right, hope that helped.